Meet me. Welcome back, boys, to another squirrely review. Today we're going to talk about Blue Kisei because I built her just recently because you know why. Freaking carrot. Everyone hates carrots, and Kisei is one of the best answers to carrot out there. So today we're going to talk about her. Um, as always, we're going to go over her skills, her builds, a quick little arena showcase, and then we're going to rate her. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, All right, let's talk night. about Kisei's skills. So her S1 is very basic, but some of you guys may not have remembered the old Kisei. I think the old one was damage increases by 70% when the target had a barrier. Now it's when they're buffed, which is a very, very easy condition in RTA, right? Pretty much everyone is running a team with some sort of buff. And 70%? That is a humongous multiplier. I mean, that is so much more damage. And on top of that, it has a soul burn that increases damage dealt. It is not unusual to hit stuff for like 20k without a defense break. If they have defense break, forget about it. They're not going to survive this. This move hits super hard. And um, it's one of the few heroes out there where her S1 is actually probably the most damaging abilities in her kit. Like it is, it also just kind of looks cool. That's the sound effect, and uh, it's just sweet. I love it. Her S2 attacks all enemies with a scythe. It penetrates the enemy's defense by 30% every single time, but when she's stealth, it also penetrates an additional 30%. So essentially a 60% defense penetration. So again, this also does a lot of damage, and it's AoE damage. So again, another, she's just a pure damage hero. Just Hits like a truck. Let's talk about her S3 Nocturne. Leaps towards the enemy to attack, increasing skill cooldown by one turn twice. Um, so that basically two chances to proc. Um, it could both get resisted or they could both land or only one can hit. But best case scenario, you reduce their skill cooldowns by two, which is huge. Um, but it also has all these other extra bonuses. It gives her stealth, it gives her barrier, and it increases her CR by 50%. So it's not unusual if you're up against a slow team and you have a very fast Kisei to be able to S3 and then immediately S2 again before they even get a turn. By the way, her barrier is proportional to her attack and the damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's current health. But if you have her on Alexa's with Gab, it is not unusual to immediately one-shot someone with this. The multis on this are very good. This hits very hard, and if they do end up surviving and you turn cut, they're not going to survive that S2 follow-up. She just has a very, very good kit, but it's a pure damage kit. But the fact that her S3 gives her some survivability, if you think about it, the closest analog is TM Lulu, right? TM Lulu on Dignus is kind of the exact same concept. You go first with Dignus, you give yourself barrier, you give yourself stealth, and it gives her some survivability. Um, Kisei is almost exactly the same. Like the barrier means um, she can deal with a few AOE attacks without being immediately knocked out. And, uh, you know, it just helps a lot. So anyways, that's her skills. Let's get into her builds. All right, so let's go into builds. How do you build this hero? Well, it's fairly straightforward. So basically you want her to be an initiating DPS, right? So there's really two main builds for her, but they're both kind of the same. So some people will run her extremely fast. I have seen 290, 300 key saves before. But the thing is, they hit a little weaker. Alternatively, what I kind of went for was a little bit slower speed, but more damage. Now, if you have super god tier gear, you could kind of do both, right? But she's not on my best gear, so I can't really do that. This is the best I can do at this speed. So I would say you want at least around like 3200 attack. Again, always more is better. Um, you want at least 260 speed, I would think. Um, you might be able to get away with 250. If you want to make her fast, some people will use her as a speed contester, then you can try and shoot for 280 plus. But again, for a lot of players, these numbers are not feasible. These are end game numbers. But I would say you want to bring her to high champ RTA, minimum 260 speed. Crit chance, obviously you want 100% or as close to it as possible. Um, I have 50% crit here essentially. And crit damage, Minimum 250, again, always higher is better. So it's whatever stats you can get with the gear you have available. 
but you know for realistic stats i would say minimum 3k attack minimum 250 speed 100 percent crit chance and 250 plus crit damage again this is kind of a hard hero to build um, because she's very stat hungry but she's not really any different from building like an a coli or an acid anything like that just a speedy initiator dps in terms of artifacts, I have not seen a key save that runs anything but Alexa's Basket. Now, if you're always going to run her with an attack buffer, which would be unusual because, again, um, she's going to be faster than most attack buffers, um, I suppose you can use something like Symbol of Unity. But if you're going to do that, then you have to tune her to be slower than your attack buffer. And you're going to want an unusually fast attack buffer. Like some people will run like a 260, 270 G Purge. If you want to do something like that and you always run her with G Purge, then I guess you could get away with running her like 255 speed, have a faster G Purge, have an attack buff. Attack buff plus like portrait will hit harder than Gab for the most part. But don't even really worry about it. Just put her on Alexa as it's best in slot for her most likely. In terms of exclusive equipment, you're going to want to use the third one because that skill reset is huge, particularly if you're using it as a carrot counter. It's the only reason why I built Kisei to give me more options to deal with carrot because carrot is obviously cancer right now. Um, obviously, you're going to want to get the 10 speed one, but this really helps with improving her speed. That's how people are getting her so fast. And uh, being able to remove those immunities before doing the reset is very, very key. So I think there's really no reason to use any exclusive artifact uh, except for this one, at least for PvP. So with that build section out of the way, let's get to everyone's favorite part, the arena showcase. All right, we're going to hit this team. Um, we're going to use Kisei as a sole DPS. A lot of it's going to depend on Alexa's proccing because we have no attack buff, but there we go. We open up, we get the Alexas. Let's try to reset this Politus right here. Can we get it? Oh, look at that damage, boys. Immediate one shot onto that Politus through Fallen Cecilia Shield. Like, this is why, um,. Kisei is actually quite good. The amount of damage she can whip out is just uh, outrageous, to be honest. So we're going to hit this um, FCC, and then we're going to get defense buff up, and then we're going to eat a little bit of damage from this LQC here. But that's okay. We'll just take it. We don't have a dark unit, so it won't splash into our Kisei. So Al, we accept it. And here we go. We don't have Soul Burn, though, but you know what? We're going to go into LQC anyway. Look at that damage. Huge damage. Now we can just uh, S3 with LR Crow here. This might just wipe out the LQC. It does. Now look at this. Just working out like a charm. Um, we're going to just uh, horse into this FCC. The S2, I don't have Max Molas into my uh, Kisei S2, so it doesn't hit hard. It's missing 20%, so let's just Soul Burn S1. Oh, and look at that. A tanky Fallen Cecilia. No problem for Kisei. She just one shot. And here we go, we gab again. Let's go for it. Ooh! <laughs> look at that Kisei damage, though. So this is why Kisei is so good right now. She just hits like a freaking truck. Let's try a different style. All right, we're going to try this nonsense three-man cleave team with only a Kisei DPS against this defense. Now, I already failed twice because this is a D-Gen Arby, and both matches, he dodged everything and countered. So, for just this match, I switched Kisei to Symbol of Unity to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, watch this nonsense. Um, actually, this did not work out because my Kisei outsped my Oxlot speed RNG. That's not supposed to happen, but it's okay. We're going to try and make this work. So watch. Now we boost up Simple Angelica, actually. And we're going to make sure that we get this uh, immortality up so that we can extinct this RB. Okay, LR Crow's going to do his nonsense. But that's okay. We're perfectly fine with that. All right, and now what we have to do is finish off this damn RB. And this time we do the symbol of unity does its job. 
Um, doesn't really matter what we hit here, so we'll just hit this, uh... Um, what's his name? LR Crow. We're gonna eat a hit from ML Chem. No, we don't even need it. So watch this Silbrum, because remember, 70% more damage on their buff. Can we one-shot him? Easy peasy. Just a one-shot. Then we're gonna bump up Kisei again. Look at how this is working. Boom. Alright. And then Sinful Angie. Boom. <laughs> so look at this ghetto three-man cleave team. Oh my god, she's going ape right now. She is absolutely going ape. Boom! Kisei Cleave Showcase. So the symbol of unity did its job. Uh, you know, I lost twice from MLDBs, but when it works, it works. And I think uh, we'll leave it there. I think that was a pretty hilarious team, albeit not going to be very good against a lot of things. But I think it really showcases just how hard Kisei can hit. All right, so we talked about Kisei's skills, her builds. We had a fun little arena showcase. So now let's summarize. Is Kisei good? Absolutely. She's not an S-tier unit, but she's definitely an A-tier unit. A very strong situational pick hero. You're not going to draft her into everything, but, you know, she's an excellent uh, five pick, potentially even a four pick. So let's get into her ratings. Arena offense, I'm going to give her a C plus. Now, you saw how fun that showcase was, but again, it's not really realistic. Like, if you want to cleave, just use a dedicated cleave unit. Judge, Kisei, Operator, Sigrid, C-Dom, one and done. There's no reason that those heroes couldn't do what I showed you better than Kisei. Um, most of her attacks are single target except her S2, so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to use her in that capacity. Arena defense, I'm just going to give her a D minus. Like, I'm sure you could run her very fast and just confuse people, but I've never seen Kisei in arena defense. And again, if you bring enough damage mitigation, you have four players on arena offense, I mean, you kind of just ignore her and demolish her with like RB or Landy or something. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to use her there. Guild Wars offense, I have not used her on Guild Wars offense, and I have not seen any of my guildies use her on Guild Wars offense. Um, I think the problem with her on Guild Wars offense is if you build her the normal way, um, she's not going to one-shot anything 60% of the time, right? Because you're going to be reliant on Gab. So you would kind of have to run her as like a secondary follow-up to an attack buff or just try to outlast them with Kisei, which I suppose you could, but... I just feel like there's most likely safer options out there, unless it's some kind of like tanky protect the Ravi team, in which case you could probably use her to just blow up the Ravi. But just to be fair, we'll give her a C plus there as well. I'm sure you could use her against um, certain Guild Wars defenses, but I feel like a lot of meta ones, she just wouldn't do that well into like t Surin, Landy, FCC. I don't think he would be a smart choice into that at all. Uh, Guild Wars defense... I think I'll give her an A- minus here. I have seen Guild Wars defenses that tripped up my own guild, and they got a lot of shields. Um, the big part about it is that a lot of people underestimate how much damage she does, and if she gabs every turn, which of course happens 100% of the time when it's an AI defense, um, she just does an overwhelming amount of damage. Like I think I've lost to a Kisei before, where I was like, no problem, I'll just bring Ruel, and Ruel literally couldn't keep up with her damage. If she gabs every turn, she just goes berserk and just slices and dices any team up, prowls, dark corvuses, it's just butter to her. So for um, that, she's pretty good. Now, RTA. Um, this is why I built her. Uh, RTA, she gets a solid A, I believe. She's not S tier again because um, this is a lot of drafts you can't really reliably bring her into. Again, she's most likely going to be a 5 pick, potentially a 4-5 pick, but um she's a very strong pick into certain things particularly carrot she's very strong against carrot now most high-end players will build their carrots in a way where it's impossible to one-shot them with kisei unless you have the most obscene gear possible uh, most carrots will be able to survive but if you gab in the opener you can probably get her down to like 30 40 percent and that'll be good enough to finish her off with a follow-up but more importantly you'll reset her s3 and if you get lucky you'll reset it by two turns and carrot without her s3 actually doesn't do a whole lot she just kind of 
throws her little pumpkin face at you and decreased speeds. So it's an excellent, excellent counter to Carrot. And even against non-Carrots, because her S1 does so much damage and the target is buffed, and in RTA everything is always buffed, she can just chop people up um, if they don't have a lot of AoE. But again, not a safe early pick because if they have a bunch of AoE like Arby's and stuff like that, she is a super, super, super squishy and she'll just get dunked on right away. So anyways, that's my review of Water Kisei. If you have this hero and want to build her, go for it. You're not going to regret it. She hits hard. She's fun. She's a waifu. Um, so yeah, do it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to see more hero reviews, make sure you like and subscribe. Although I know you did that already because uh, you love squirrels who doesn't. Um, and uh, have a splendid day. Till next time, boys. Peace out.